So what we have here is they became such a wealthy community. In fact, the documentary, uh, the order, the documentary says that this was the wealthiest African American, most affluent African American community that this nation has ever known. Now, when you think about what happened to them, and then you have to ask yourself, why did it happen? Well, what happened was, they were so wealthy, why did it happen? They were so wealthy that the oil barons in Tulsa, Oklahoma, had to come to them to borrow money to build their oil rigs and drill for their oil wells. Now we're talking, we know millions and millions of dollars. So if they had to come to this black community, you know they didn't like it. So what happened was eventually they got so jealous that they they concocted a plan that they decided that they would bomb them. And it was systematic. They bombed the town. They destroyed every, we're talking about, what, some 3,500 homes and businesses destroyed. But not only that, the hotel owner, the owner of the hotel, the, the bank owner, the, uh, the guy that owned the seven planes, these people were pursued. They weren't just chased out of town. They were pursued. Now, you ask yourself, why were they pursued? Well, they were pursued because of the knowledge that they possessed in my mind. It wasn't enough for them to destroy the physical manifestation of Black Wall Street. They had to also, they wanted to go to the root. So they wanted to get the, the people that contained and possessed the knowledge that this was possible. Why was that? Why is that? If, if it was so imperative for them to do it, there must be a reason. Well, if we look at what we have right now today, the owner of that uh, documentary says that if Black Wall Street, Tulsa, Oklahoma, had been allowed to thrive, the, the position of African Americans today would be 100% different. Isn't that, isn't that incredible? That sir, that, sir, is incredible. It is, wow. It's just unreal. It is.